All right, good morning, folks. It's Nick Mulbauer here. And we got our first crappie right there, fan casting a brush pile. We got on the Bobby Garland minnow pattern there. Uh, lights out color with a pink jig head. First crappie, nothing special. And I honestly wasn't planning on crappie fishing this morning, but when I got out this morning, there's just that smell in the air. It's March 2nd, and generally I don't start fishing like this until April 2nd. Water temp is 40 degrees, and generally these fish don't start biting until around 42, 43 degrees. But I just had a feeling, I was just like, these conditions just seem right. It's calm enough this morning, the ne next two hours, that I thought maybe I could try to get on a pre-spawn crappie bite. And that was my first one. I have marker buoys out there at one of my local spots. And I'm just throwing at them, counting down to four. One, two, three, four. And then I'm just slowly reeling, as slow as I can all the way back to my kayak just a steady wind once that wind picks up though guys i will very likely be switching gears to bass fishing because it's just really tough trying to get these crappie to bite when you're dealing with wind they're so finicky and so picky that if i can't place my bait just right i'm i don't have a shot in the world to catch them so while the wind is died down. I'm just going to try to pick up a couple crappie. There's crappie number two, guys. I'd say uh, with the water temps being in the 40s, you're going to want to let that bait hang out in that water as long as possible. I think these fish are really trailing it. And uh, right now I'm catching them pretty far off the brush pile. Uh, like I said, those marker buoys are kind of where that brush pile is. They're marking where that brush pile starts and stops. And uh, those fish are biting probably 15, 10, 15 to 20 feet off that brush pile. I'm counting down to five right now. And that's how I'm picking these fish up. They're just trailing it. There's another one. Two casts in a row. But they're just little fellas, guys. That's the way crappie are. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of crappie boom or bust. But uh, crappie are well known for cycling. And um, when you get that cycle of crappie, you can have a few, many years of good crappie fishing. And then you'll have just as many off years that just aren't very much good. See that's a little better one right there. Quality's turning on a little bit folks. As that sun's coming up. I'm still using that Bobby Garland right there. More natural color. But that's what I'm talking about guys. So I'm just gonna keep on these fish while the bite's good because that bite window can close as fast as it opens. The wind picked up a little bit too. We got a little bit of chop and uh, sometimes that hurts, sometimes that helps and right now it might be helping a little bit. Just fish feel a little bit more protected, a little bit more camouflaged in the water. It subdues the sounds I'm making. So we'll see how this goes. Maybe we'll catch a couple. Another good one, guys. It's a pretty good one. Right there. I'm still trying to hone in on exactly what these guys are doing. So still using the same color. I think it's about placement though right now, guys. So that's a pretty good fish. Pretty decent crappie there. Probably come in 10, 10, 11, maybe probably 10. Get that one back. So what I'm finding, I'll turn this way so you guys can hear me. 
what I'm finding is out in that brush pile, if I throw about four, five, six feet past the marker buoy, it comes into that sweet spot. There's a little sweet spot there that I'm trying to hone in on just off this brush pile, and that's where they're at. But what I have to do is I have to throw it past this buoy a couple feet off. That's probably not even far enough off or past the buoy. It just needs to roll right down through here, and that's exactly where they are, about four or five seconds down. Just roll it right through that area, and that seems to be the sweet spot. And it's a slow bite, guys. It's not hot by any means but that's just kind of where they're at. That's where they're keying in on the bait and bushing it off this brush pile. Everything's important, guys. My kayak's placement, how far past that buoy I'm throwing, how far to the left I'm throwing past the buoy. So I'll get set up about right here, and I need to throw about... See, now I'm not far enough left. But that's about how far past the buoy I need to be to be in that sweet spot and let it count down about four or five seconds and just roll it right past the side of that brush pile. And they're just ambushing my minnow or my soft plastic minnow right off of that. That's where they're coming from. And it's about one every, I don't know, 20 casts. It's slow guys, but that water temp's cold. It's tittering between 40 and 41 right now. There's another one. They're following it a long time, guys. But they're all right size now. At least we're getting into some some quality. It's like that's eating size, guys. These are females. They got their eggs. You can tell. You look down their gut there. They got the belly there. So nothing insane and hopefully that picks up as the water temperature warms but the fact that we're catching them march 2nd that's the earliest i've caught them pre-spawn like this so it's been an interesting year the most mild winter i've ever seen and really everything's just kind of a month ahead right now it feels like so as long as we keep having these unseasonably warm days the fishing's just going to pick up all the same it's crazy, but I think switching to that natural color helps a lot too. Water clarity is just clear enough to where I think they prefer that blue ice Bobby Garland. Just roll it through there, just slice that brush pile. Just slice right past it and be very patient. Crappie is generally always a game of patience. Most fishing is a game of patience unless you get on those hot bites. Just be persistent, be patient, and just hone in on them. You just gotta hone in on them. First bass of the day, guys. We switch gears. It feels like a good one, too. It's a good one. I have to move my rod tip here. So bring it around. All right, let's bring this one in. There we go, folks. That's spring fishing, guys. March 2nd. First bass of the day. Let's get the pliers out. It was getting a bit too breezy for crappie fishing, so we switched it up to bass. So there we go. First one of the day. Beautiful. Gotta love it, guys. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Beautiful. Beautiful largemouth, thick, healthy fish. Send her on her way. There she goes. That's the one catch, guys. That's the one. This is why you fish in March, April, May. It's the time. And uh, what I got going on here for bass this morning is a worm because worms have been killing it for me. So there we go. 
feel like it's just a hair bit early for jigs so it's the nico rig i was showing you guys for that windy day the other day it's actually the same worm we got a fourth ounce nail weight in the bottom so i can feel it eight pound line nice weedless hook to keep out of all those rocks that are down there and that's what we're fishing we'll toss it back out there see if we can't get another good one that's the magic of spring guys big ones big ones last saturday's trip catching crappie and bass early early spring it's not even spring it's just because of the year it's like i don't even know what you want to call it what season we call this because it's just been the most mild winter ever if you guys have been coming back to this channel guys please sub it, it helps me a lot i'll just be quick about it but i really appreciate it. i'm just gonna throw that in there so what we can take away from the video with the crappie is they're starting to enter their pre-spawn mood so generally for me I fish the north ends of lakes where the water warms better. Just find any type of submerged cover that crop you're holding to and either fish directly in the cover with soft plastics or minnows on a slip bobber or just slice it like I say and just fish right off to the side of it. Sometimes those larger fish are off those brush piles. The smaller ones tend to stay in that but a lot of times you can catch some of those larger fish several feet, several yards off the brush piles. Pre-spawn bite is happening with the crappie. They're starting their pre-spawn patterns. All right, so jumping into bass. That big one is the only bite I got and the only fish I caught. So one bite, one fish. Water temps were anywhere from 40 to 41, and I had a brief moment where they touched 42 degrees. That is still very cold water in my opinion, guys and the bass just aren't biting really hard yet. I have not yet got on a furious bite, and I might equate that to the fact that I generally can only fish in the mornings. That's just kind of what my, um, that's just my schedule and my schedule allows. So I would think that those bass would maybe get a bit more fired up in the late afternoon evenings. But as for mornings, I'm still fishing very finesse, small, compact baits, worms, craws just dragging dredging bottom as slow as i can stand it pounding in place ned rigs nico rigs um jigs um i haven't tried a drop shot yet but it's just kind of the same stuff just kind of different different bugs different uh fish profiles different plastics is what i'm throwing at them i've tried jerk baits and i'm not getting any bites guys but i'm just really not getting a whole lot of bites in general yet it's still cold and you just got to search them out guys and even when you find them they're they're going to be slow to bite yet that's my experience here in the midwest in iowa here march early early march those fish are very cold and just are not very aggressive yet the thing that keeps me going is that these fish are good ones these are the days where you grind it out you may get very few bites but like i've said broken record a thousand times these are the days you get those big bites anywhere between ice out all the way to spawn you can get some of the biggest bass of the year you're gonna catch the biggest bass of the year ice out to spawn biggest bass it's the time guys and that's what should drive you to get out there you might not get many bites but search around fish slow as long as we're in those 40s in my opinion like i'm still fishing slow and every now and then i'm, I'm spending some time working a bit more aggressive baits like jerk baits etc but I, that doesn't really pick up for me until we get into the upper 40s 50s so just be patient fish slow that's that's my advice and and just look for those big bites and be ready for them because you don't want to miss the biggest bass of the year so that's all i got for you fish around look for that warm water fish slow be persistent keep trying keep grinding I'll see you guys soon peace